Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. Hopefully uh, you're enjoying 2024. Um, I saw enough people who said they were glad that 2023 was over. So hopefully this year is uh, a little better for you. I was thinking, um, I came in contact with a gentleman the other day as we were talking. He's 82 years old and he said his father was in World War One. And he said, I can't imagine um, the time he graduated high school. He said he was thrown into uh, World War One, And when he got out, he came home. And he said the, um, the uh, Spanish flu hit. And he said then he got past some of that. And the depression hit. And, and uh, as we were talking, I said, I guess it's all perspective. We talk about how bad things are sometimes now, but I guess it is the perspective of the person and what it is that we go through. Uh, and which brought me to uh, this verse of scripture that I read and um, read often second in First Timothy in chapter 6 of 1 Timothy in verse 6, but godliness with contentment is great gain for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Having food and raiment, let us therewith be content. Well, it doesn't seem like sometimes uh, contentment is easy to find, even among people who um, have the Lord in their lives. Sometimes we get wrapped up in things that, w and as he and I were talking, I said, you know, I guess in perspective, um, if it is important to you, I'm sure it's important to God as uh as one brother says, often. But there are worse things that have come upon people than some of the things that maybe I'll face in my life or maybe even you in your life. There again, not everybody's been through what I've been through. So all of us have something probably that comes against us or all of us have a certain uh, mountaintop or a valley experience in our lifetime or maybe more than one. But whatever it is, if we can learn to be content of knowing that... Uh, God loves us. He sent his son to die for us. He is our savior. And um, and if we can just be content in knowing that there's nothing that we go through that he does not know. He does not see. So that tells me that he's either going to bring you through it. He's going to allow it to usher you into his presence. And we know what that means. Um, or it's going to be something that if you will allow it to, whether it takes you out or brings you through, it can be used for the good of somebody else's life. Maybe for them to see their need for salvation. Whatever it is, if we can just learn to be content with what he gives us. Yesterday, um, our son uh, had a box um, that held a Bible that I had given him that my dad had owned and my dad would keep the boxes of his Bibles. I'd do the same things. And I've got different papers in there. And this paper was was in there. This is uh, this is my handwriting. When uh, I remember singing this with him. So I was probably about 13 years old or so. I wrote this song out. This is a cook song. I haven't sang it since, since then. Um. Yesterday, I was in a person's home, and I sang it um, to just remember the tune. So, Dad used to sing it, and I would sing with him, so we'll give it a shot today. And see. When Jesus walked up that hill called Golgotha, no one really knew what was on. They thought his life would end forever, but thank God his life had just begun. He must have walked through the lowest valley. He must have walked. 
in pastures so green. He must have walked beside the still waters, and he led me through paths I could not see. When I was down in the valley of conviction no lower valley had i ever trod then i called upon the name of jesus and he forgave me now i pass you lie. He must have walked through the lowest valley. He must have walked in pastures so green. He must have walked beside And he led me through paths I could not see. Yes, he led me through paths I could not see. Lord, I thank you for all you do for us and all you are for us. And God, I pray that you would bless those that hear this today. Encourage them, strengthen them, Lord. You only know the path that we take. And God, I pray that you would give encouragement today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. See you Thursday.